So now we take it a step further. Now we want to do milligrams per kilogram per hour. So again, we'll do this one stepwise and then we'll do it as one big equation, but we'll start stepwise. So our healthcare provider ordered phenobarbital to be administered at three milligrams per kilograms per hour. The patient weighs 193.6 pounds. The pharmacy sends a bag that's labeled 2,500 milligrams in 50 mLs. And how many mLs per hour are we gonna set the pump? That's what our goal is. So the first step with this would be to convert our weight. So if we're doing the stepwise approach, so our patient weighs 193.6 pounds. If we divide that by 2.2, we get 88 kilograms. Now our order is for three milligrams per kilogram. So we need to figure out how many milligrams our patient needs. So in step two, we're gonna take our 88 kilos, multiply time our dose. So we need three milligrams for every kilogram. So multiply by three, and we wind up with 264 milligrams. And this is per hour, because this 264 is gonna be this three milligrams per kilogram. So then our last step would be to see how many mLs does this equate to? So we start with what we know, or what we have, so 264 milligrams, and we're giving this over one hour. Our medication comes in 2,500 milligrams and 50 mLs. Our milligrams cancel out. We're left with mLs per hour, which is what we're looking for. And this, if when you solve this, ends up being 5.3 mLs per hour. Now let's say we wanted to do this in one equation. So let's start with what we know. So if we hadn't solved this top part, all we know is that this is our dosage that we need. We need three milligrams per kilogram per hour. So let's start with that. So we're gonna give three milligrams to our patient. We know that, and our medication came 200 and, or 2,500 milligrams in 50 mLs. This ends up getting us to ml, right? Which is what we start, we need mLs per hour, so we already had our mLs. But this is only mLs per hour, this is not considering our patient's weight. So we still need to figure out our patient's weight. So we have that 193.6 pounds. We know that there's 2.2 pounds for every one kilogram. Whenever we map this out, we get the same result, 5.3 mLs per hour. So in this one, we didn't have to solve this step because we do that automatically in this equation because we're taking our three and we're multiplying by this equation right here, which shakes out to be our 88. So this takes all of these steps and all of these steps and puts them together in one equation. So this right here solves step one. This right here times this is our step two. And then those combined multiplied by this here ends up being our mLs per hour.